So uh, welcome to Kickstarter Metabolism. This is a Max Living Makeover. Uh, for those of you who I have not met, um, my name is Dr. Chad, and uh, really want to uh, be just as amazing how much and excited we can get when we think about the fact that the metabolism affects your rate of uh, your susceptibility to diabetes, to heart disease, to cancer. And we want to make the connections because a lot of you have maybe done things in the past where you thought you hit most of it right, but you didn't get the results that you thought you should have <coughs> given the amount of effort you put in. And so we want to make sure that the connection that there is approximately 400 different chiropractors in the Max Living Network that are doing this workshop this month around the country trying to connect the dots for people because we want to be the spearhead of how we are changing and transforming lives and changing healthcare today. Because yes, we want everybody to live better quality, better quantity of life through chiropractic and the implementation of the five essentials. But I mean, what does that really mean? It means getting the results that you want in your life and having a better perception of reality. We want people to understand that the people who are participating in this office, in the workshop, our patients have lowered or have lower incidence of heart disease. They have lower incidence of diabetes. They are typically at their ideal weight. They have better habits. And this is what gets them their results. And then the outside looking in of our community, if we can make changes in here and people can see that, then we can change communities, 400 different communities around the country and then reshape the results of the expectations of life and longevity, which for the last five years in a row, long, um, lifespan has gone down in the United States. It's gone down exponentially in the last three years. We'll talk about why. So I know my goals. What are yours? What brought you here? And then how can we couple what you're going to learn into going back to your family, your friends, your church, and being that example in that area and getting other people to join with you? So that again, we reshape our community with this expectation of health. So, quotes are important. There's nothing a doctor can do to undo what a patient won't do. So many people, we have been lied to in a consumer society where we are now the commodity to make money. The better consumer of healthcare that we can make you or the world can make you, the more pharmaceuticals you use, the more surgeries you have, the more that you have to buy, the sicker you are, the more profit that can be made off of you. That's a top-down view of what we're dealing with. So if we're going to change that, we have to use the law of supply and demand. We have to demand a different healthcare system to change the supply. And if you're better educated and empowered to make those changes and make those lifestyle choices, that's the only way we can do it. So motivation. Um, I'll give you an example of mine. Because all of us, if you're going to do, and right now, tonight, with the challenges that you have in front of you, I hope you brought something to write with because you're going to build your own challenge. When you leave here, you will have a plan for success for the next 30 days. Because a failure to plan is a plan to fail. So we want you leaving here empowered with the knowledge of the steps that you're going to do. Motivation. We call it in chiropractic our big why. Why did I become a chiropractor? Why do I stay healthy? Why do we do these workshops? Well, for me, um, I have four kids. 14-year-old all the way down to a two-year-old named Eliana. And I can sum mine up in her name, Eliana. If she's two and I'm almost 50 and I'm going to see her into her 30s, having children, and be a blessing to her and not a burden, I'd better be doing something right. Mm -hmm. 
Otherwise, statistically speaking, I won't make it. So that's mine. What's yours? Try to make it as succinct as possible. Because it ain't the 20 pounds, and it's not looking good at the beach, and it's not the different things that oftentimes we come to these you know, motivational workshops for because we want results. That's not it. It's what the losing the 20 pounds will get you. It's what becoming non-diabetic will be. What reversing your heart disease. How reversing liver disease. What will that give you? We've seen all those examples in this office repeatedly. So, what is it? Write it down. Try to make it as short as possible. Write it down. Fill it out right now. Again, when you start leaning towards quitting, what are you going to lean on? You didn't get a packet? You have one up there. Absolutely. You've got that. <clears throat> so in the conversation of metabolism, we have to talk about fat first. Because it's a fat loss challenge. It's a weight loss challenge. These are the things that we are doing tonight to help get people the results that they need. First of all, we need to realize that fat has a purpose. There's six different types of fat. I only want to talk about two of them. One is called essential fat. The essential fat of our bodies is made up of a very important fat that we can only get from our nutrition. It's called an essential, essential fatty acid. The essential fat of our body is what lines our brain, our nervous system, and all of our nerves. Many people have heard it called the myelin sheath or the myelin, the coating of our brain. That is fat. We know that disease processes where that doesn't work right, we label them MFs, right? <clears throat> so we know that the, that the destruction of the myelin sheath, the fat that lines our brain and our nervous system, causes it to, to misfire. It causes those nerves not to be able to work right because they don't have their insulation to speed up the conduction and keep those wires from crossfire. Mm -hmm. So we have to have that kind of fat. The kind of fat that we don't want is the visceral fat, the adipose fat, the things that are put around our organs, and there has to be a small amount of it to cause lining and to uh, maintain body heat and to have uh, shock absorption of the organs. But once the essential or the visceral fat becomes so much, this is the thing that a lot of people miss. There's two things that we're going to touch on tonight that are things that approximately 75% of people who have tried to lose weight, miss altogether. It's called metabolic conditioning, and then dealing with the toxicity from that, and then the nervous system. We'll talk about how those are implemented, but this is one of them. Because when we accumulate enough visceral fat, it acts as an organ that signals, using leptin, <coughs> it signals the hypothalamus of our brain and directly affects insulin and cortisol. It affects our appetites negatively. So it becomes part of the problem. Not to mention, it's an inflammatory type of fat. It promotes harmful LDL cholesterol, which narrows the arteries because of the inflammation that it causes. So we don't understand why um, exactly all of the reasons, but it seems to be even more toxic to women after menopause. It has something to do with the amount of estrogen in the system. And we just don't know the exact signaling pathways. But the more visceral fat that we accumulate later on in life ends up having more of an impact of inflammation inside our cardiovascular system. How many people does it affect? 42% of Americans are considered obese. That's men, women, and children. 42% of Americans. If what I'm about to talk about now makes sense to you, it will change your life for the rest of your life because it will change how you view and manage your health care, which will change your life because you will have better energy, better quality of life. You will have a different perception of the world. So make sure it makes sense to you and follow me if it does. So here we go. The um, standard of care. 
right? We've seen that affect us over the last three years, right? Our access to medicine, our ability to make healthcare choices, things like that. So we know the standard of care is a really big deal. The reason I use this slide is because the standard of care is changing. The American Academy of Pediatrics just released, um, what's it say, January 9th of 2023, new guidelines on childhood obesity. At age 12, they will recommend pharmaceutical intervention if that child is obese. Mm -hmm. That's the standard yeah. of care. If by age 13, they're, not, they're no longer obese, the recommendation is bariatric surgery. We will be putting our children to sleep. We will either be putting gastric sleeves on or we'll be going and stapling the stomachs, doing whatever they're going to do. This is the standard of care that's being recommended by the American Academy of Pediatrics. Mm. Does that make sense to you? Does that <coughs> fix the problem? So the method of thinking that we say and that we understand in chiropractic and in max living is, is that we have this innate intelligence inside of us. That's the science word. Our soul, our spirit. It runs our bodies, and it is the perfect piece of God inside of us that is trying to animate and regenerate our bodies, making decisions every second for our betterment, realizing that 90% of all human, function, all human function and perception is subconscious. You don't think about your blood pressure, your blood sugar, your, you know, your hormones, going to sleep, waking up, all that stuff subconsciously controlled. Every second, all of that chemistry of your basal metabolic rate, which we're going to be talking about your metabolism tonight, is governed subconsciously. So we understand that the better quality of ingredients that we have in our lives, both physically Mentally, spiritually, your nutrition, your hydration, your exercise, all of those things influence your body's ability to regenerate itself. Is that a decent statement? That makes sense to you? Well, if so, would you build your house? Would you rather build your house out of brick and wood and great windows? Or would you rather build your house out of cardboard? You're rebuilding you with the quality of all of those influences every day, spiritually, mentally, physically, nutritionally, your water, your everything. This is the new you, that the perfect part of you that would be here now and then ascend back to heaven when done, it's trying to do that as perfectly as it can to make you survive. Every day, subconsciously. So what kind of environment are you putting in it? We want to surround people with an environment that says, we expect you to be healthy. We call it, we are, we are focused on the cause, not the condition. What causes diabetes? What causes heart disease? What causes cancer? What causes all these things? If we can fix what causes it, then we can, if we can get to it in time. There's the caveat. Whoa, Miss, all right. So somebody is transmitting. Okay, let's uh, figure this out. Hello? Is it still happening? No. Awesome. All right. Well, there's our experience with technology. Uh, hopefully that's the only thing that happened tonight. So if we're going to change this and we're going to stop being the commodity, then we have to act differently to get better results. So, we can understand the cause, cause over condition. The cause of the problem is our lifestyle. And this picture is very important because we've got to get rid of some of the bad BS, the bad belief systems, right? Mm -hmm. We tell ourselves a lot of junk. You ever heard of any of these? Right? I love that one. I'm just being bummed. <laughs> no, right? No, no, I have that, yes. um, I have a slow metabolism. Everybody in my family has a slow metabolism, right? You know what I mean? Like, right? We know people who said this, right? Right? No. What is your metabolic rate? Your metabolism is governed by things that we know exactly what it is. 
we have to be okay. I know the world is caught up in trying to make everything nice and worried about what color M&M &M is, what this and that, and what's being said on Gilligan's Island and all this other stuff. But we've got to be able to talk about it straight, folks, because it's people's lives. It's your risk of diabetes, heart disease, cancer, and major killing. So your BMR, your basal metabolic rate, or your metabolism is made up of that 70% of your basal metabolic rate. The things, what is that? Okay, it's the amount of energy, the amount of chemistry that it requires to run your body subconsciously in your normal daily activity. Not including exercise and the hobbies and the things that you do for you know getting out and getting exercise. That comprises 70% of the usage of the calories you take in in a day. Just to keep you alive. Pumping your blood, you know, making sure you're detoxifying, moving all the food through you, 70%. So there are things that we can do to influence how good of a ratio that is and how many calories we bring in. Because if your BMR says that it only takes 1,000 calories to run you, and you take in 1,500 calories, and we all know that's not very much, you're still gaining weight. So how are we going to fix that? We have to understand that 88% of Americans are considered to have a metabolism problem. 88% men, women, and children. Why? Because many of you don't associate metabolic problems with metabolism. Fatigue, thyroid issues, um, appetite disorders, cold hands and feet, low libido, PMS, bloating, anxiety and depression, hair loss, brittle nails, insomnia, infertility, irritability, and obesity are all related to metabolism. And that's the short list. So, don't we all, aren't we all somebody or know somebody who has some of that? So that's how it's the 88%. Only 12% of Americans have a problem functioning with that one. So here's the question. We can answer it right now. As a group, of the things that affect your BMR, how many can be changed? Now, there's five up there now. How many? Three? Four? <laughs> Absolutely, you cannot change your age. But folks, that's, I mean, we proved in 2020, I mean, not 2020, 2003, these guys at Duke University School of Oncology, if you heard this because you were at my last workshop, bear with me. Um, but it's so astounding that Watson Journal proved that we can change our genetics. You can change your genetic expression. You can't change the genes that are there, but you can turn on and off genes by the environment you put your genes in. Hmm. I know, astounding. Duke University School of Oncology, Watson Journal, it will be in the references that are sent to you. I don't do lectures without sending you the references. You follow the rabbit hole, you look it up. It's not my opinion, it's the science. And I, I hate using that word, but the thing is these days it's become a dirty word. Um, uh, but the thing is, is that in, back in 2003, they did this thing at Duke University where they took the agouti mouse. And the agouti mouse is a genetically line of mice that have been bred. They have a voracious appetite, they're orange, they are typically overweight or all the time overweight. They are susceptible genetically to diabetes and cancer. Mm -hmm. And they're bred this way so that they can do studies on them. So now you take two agouti mouse, you let them mate, you get an agouti mate. So what they did that was novel was they decided the only thing they were going to change was they were going to change the mother's diet preconception. So before she was able to conceive, they put her on a highly methylated diet, which is what we're going to talk about called the advanced plan. So a high methylated diet is all they changed with her. They let her mate. When she had babies, the, the, the baby mice came out. They were brown, they were thin, and they did not have the same genetic expression of the mm. genes for diabetes or cancer, mm. simply by changing nutrition and preconception. Mm. So when I put this up there, 
That, my friends, is true. It's not, and I've had a joke for a long time. I know that people, and it may be not the nicest, but the fact is that so many people around here say that disease runs in my family, cancer runs in my family, heart disease runs in my family. Most of the time, nobody runs in your family. <laughs> That's good. Just say it. But that is also true. If you have the same genetics and you put it in the same environment because you learn to cook like them, you learn to stress like them, you learn to do it, you're going to turn on the same gene. You take that same person, you take, and they did it in Russia, it's horrible, but the fact is they would take and separate identical twins and treat them completely differently. And, and this is back in the 40s and the 50s and the 60s, and then see how they grew up. Just to do it. Okay, well, they kind of proved it. I mean, I hate it, they did it. The fact is, is they showed they could produce different diseases, different types, different, uh, different, totally different people. Same gene, different environment. So here we go. Let's change your genetics. I have another quote for you. You cannot pharmaceutical your way out of a problem you lifestyled your way into. Mm -hmm. Have we not seen society over the last 50 years destroy our population? I mean, let's talk about it. About pain in the opioid crisis. Mm -hmm. Oh boy, if you've got real pain, we can get these pills. You won't get addicted. How'd that work out for us? How's mental health today? Are there more children on Adderall, Ritalin? Are we seeing more and more psychological issues? Yes, sir. Okay, so, I mean, how about all these, I mean, there's just, let's go on and on. Right? So, we can't pharmaceutical, we have to get over that. We cannot pharmaceutical our way out of the problem we lifestyle our way into. So let's fix the lifestyle. The fact is, is that your BMR is in a direct relationship to the amount of muscle you have compared to the amount of fat you have. Period. And it's influenced, yes, by your age, yes, by your gender, yes, by your lifestyle, yes, by your genetics, all of these things. But we can change How do we do it? If we're going to boost fat loss and we're going to boost our metabolisms, we need to do it so that we don't get our results and then lose our results. Anybody ever experienced that? Oh, yeah, I can do the whatever diet, and then, you know, I lose 20 or 30 pounds, and as soon as I quit eating fake food and whatever, uh, then I gain it all back. So what we want to do is change the lifestyle. And we call this the five essentials of health. The five E. Mm -hmm. First step, clean whole food nutrition. Bust a myth, does fat make you fat? We went through the 70s, 80s, and 90s and we said yes, <coughs> but it's not true. It's bad fat makes you fat. There's a difference between it. There's inflammatory fats and there's healthy fats. Otherwise, your brain wouldn't be lined with fat. Your nerves wouldn't be lined with fat. God didn't make junk. It's very intelligent design. And so when we look at these things, we have to know which one is which. So many people have grown up shopping low fat. Grass fed butter is a great source of vitamin A, the antioxidant beta carotene that we all know is so good for our eye. Well, there are two fat soluble antioxidants, vitamin A and vitamin E. You have to get them from a fatty source. Bad fats, what are they? We need to look at the fact that they're compromised oils, trans fat, refined, refined processed oils, and they contribute to obesity and they clog our arteries. Where do we get them? We get them in processed foods. We get them um, in vegetable oil, canola oil, um, rapeseed oil, which is also the other word originally canola oil was rapeseed plant. And then they changed it to Canadian oil, low acid. So the rapeseed plant and canola oil, same thing. Soybean oil um, and palm oil. These are common names, and again, you don't have to have all of this. The research resources will be emailed to you if you gave it to us. Just write it down if you want. So, what are our anti-inflammatory fats? They've been huge for the last 20 years, right? Omegas. Omega-3, 6, and 9. Now, 
the omega oils are what we get from um, cold water fatty fish, of course, mackerel, tuna, hair, all these things. But yet we want to minimize our intake of those because of the amount of mercury that we're coming in contact with from those sources. So it's better to get them salmon um, as long as it's wild caught. Um, but let's use some of the other things, things like nuts and seeds, flax seeds, chia seeds, walnuts are a great source of omega oils. Um, seaweeds and algae, seaweed, nori, spirulina, chlorella, all great sources. Um, also, um, kidney beans. And one that I was happy to find out about Brussels sprouts. Come on. <laughs> Um, and so now I get to say I can get my omegas from them and eat them more. Um, where are you getting the anti or the uh, inflammatory oils that you're not really aware of? Is a lot of times we're trying to be healthy and we're buying dairy replacement. Now I know that if you are lactose intolerant or you're casein intolerant, you have to use some type of dairy alternative. But you need to, it's possible to make them on your own or be able to food label read. So one of the things that we do, and this, there's going to be a sign-up sheet coming around right now. Ms. Anna's going to start passing it around. If it is full by the time you get to it, just put your name on the waiting list. We'll have a second class. It's called Shop with the Doc. Shop mm -hmm. with the Doc is where we go through angles together, and I show you how a food label read, how they hide trans fats, how they hide hydrogenated oils, how they, what are the code words for sugar, um, all of these things, so it's really the boots on the ground, walking through food label reading. Hmm. So sign up, if we need a second class, we'll make it, because we can only do 10. Um, did I mention, I think I might have missed soybean oil, it's a huge one that a lot of times, and these are in our dairy replacements. So you flip that around, if you read palm oil, soybean oil, canola oil, any of those things, those are bad fats. They're inflammatory. Plus, if you're going to use a, a dairy replacement, make sure it's the no sugar added. It's as plain as it can be, because we all know sugar is inflammatory. It's a zero calorie, it's poison. By the way, just so we're all clear, diabetes is carbohydrate toxicity. It's all you need. Your body can no longer properly tolerate and metabolize carbohydrates. Your body has been poisoned to a period where it no longer can do that. So how do we fix it? Well, we're talking about part of the fix right now, increasing your BMR. So what do we need to do? Let's continue to work on our nutrition for the importance of protein. Is there a difference between grass-fed and grain-fed? There most certainly is. And this goes with milk, too. Um, so grass-fed beef contains five times more omega-3 fatty acids. You're getting all, five times the amount of omegas, but you're not getting the poisons from the GMO feed, the Roundup that we now know, non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, right? I mean, they're getting sued over it. Um, and so we know it's causing cancer. So you want to minimize that. But that goes for the feed that feeds chickens. That goes for, so you want the pasture-raised chickens. You want, uh, you want the wild-caught fish. You want all these things because they're feeding the fish grain. I mean, have you yes. ever seen a fish jump out of a pond and grab your corn? <laughs> right? So why are we feeding them corn? I mean, we live enough in the country where we know there's no fish jumping out and grabbing corn. I mean, this is, but this is the kind of thing that they're growing the fish on. So we have to be aware of the toxicity levels because, yes, um, alternative milks and dairy, um, we've covered that. Uh, with the inflammatory oils, um, the page and eggs, you know, pasture raised is actually the best. Because what does that mean, right? At organic, pasture raised eggs are going to be the best. The reason is because pasture raised means that they have six hours of activity outside. Mm -hmm. Just like a grass fed cow is out moving around eating like it should. Easy example. Um, Probably everybody familiar with Arnold Schwarzenegger's, right? Mm -hmm. okay. So, like six foot one, 225 pounds of raw muscle. Is his basal metabolic rate the same as or better than the person who's five foot two, 225 pounds, and never works out? It's an easy guess, right? right. That's the difference between a pasture-raised cow that's Arnold Schwarzenegger and you have the farm-raised 
feedlot standing in its own poop, eating a bunch of things that cause its belly to be so swollen they have to give it antibiotics to keep the stomach from burning. That's why we use antibiotics so heavily. 80% of the antibiotics that are consumed in the United States are used for animal production. Weight loss, another myth. Calories in versus calories out. Great portion control, awesome. The calories are the same. Do you want a Twinkie body? No. <laughs> Just ask them. I mean, look at this. Yeah. The um, carbohydrates, only six grams of carbs, but you have to subtract out the, th the fiber to get your net carbs. So in the almonds, you only get 2.6 grams of carbohydrates, whereas over here, you get 46 grams. Um, no fiber, so it's all just carbs. Um, and then here we have only 1.2 grams of sugar. There's 33 grams of sugar over here, 2 grams of protein versus um, uh, 6. You get vitamin E, you get magnesium. Magnesium is known to be essential for at least 400 reactions inside the body that we know of. Hmm. So a little bit different, even though they're the same amount of calorie, right? The person who eats the Twinkie, 30 minutes later, their hypothalamus says, I'm still hungry because I didn't get the nutrition I thought I was getting. I am starving to death. Mm -hmm. I have too many calories, but not enough nutrients, and the body is smart. It signals you eat more. We're talking about metabolic conditioning. Max Living Advanced Plan. Oh, by the way, here's a little thing. Um, this is, and thank you for the person who brought this. It is actually here. Um, this says creamy peanut butter. A little example for why everybody needs to do shop with the doc. Creamy peanut butter. Peanut kids. So what are the ingredients? Roasted peanuts, sugar, dextrose, hydrogenated vegetable oil, rapeseed, cottonseed, soybean oil, and palm oil, salt. The label's cute. I mean, kids want to eat this. But is that healthy for them? Oh, gosh, yes. I'm um, sorry. Uh, warning. Uh, consuming this product um, may expose you to chemicals um, causing uh, or acylamide, known to be a cancer-causing chemical. Um, and it's under the state law Prop 65 from California. Salt. Hmm. So, Think you need to have a real label of salt? It's salt. The second ingredient is dextrose. What is dextrose? Sugar. They put sugar in salt because sugar is eight times more addictive than cocaine. Mm. They can get you on their brain. Why is that more than salt so good? Hmm. Why it got you? Oh my gosh. They got you hooked. Um, so, Back to whole food nutrition. <laughs> Many of us have heard of putting the body in and out of ketosis to allow it to burn fat. This is one of the reasons why so many people fail at it, though. It's because if you're eating bad fats and you're eating bad proteins, you become toxic. Mm -hmm. And that causes more inflammation in your body, which causes a negative impact on your cardiovascular disease. That's number one. Number two is, is that you don't understand that we can do it through plant-based whole food. That is the advanced plan. So the advanced plan, for those of you who aren't patients, um, you'll need a, a manual. Um, quick start the guide to nutrition, Cliff Notes version, um, the nutrition recipe plan book, um, and the mini book from Max Living, all three of these put together. They're, they're normally $20. Everything um, in the office is 15% off when you come to a workshop. So it'll um, be like 17 bucks for these three books that will do, differentiate between the core plan and the advanced plan. Because you're about to make another choice on your sheet. Which of these plans are you going to do? These are the notes that you need to make it successful in the next month, but I'm going to give you the breakdown. The core plan is what you can live on for the rest of your life. It's how we eat as a family. So the core plan is only healthy grains. 90% of the time, we all have a cheat, right? Um, so the idea is, is that you're eating mostly kamut or millet or quinoa or aramut, things like this, healthy grains. 
minimizing and only eating organic corn. Um, and then getting rid of wheat mostly out of your life, as much as you can. Mm -hmm. That's the core plan. All of the vegetables and all of the fruits are involved. We just try to eat more of the medium glycemic index. And you're just, you're eating, but you're trying to eat 80-20. 80% 80 plants, 10% protein, and then nuts and seeds and things like that comprising your other 10%. That is the guideline. That's it. So it's pretty wide open. The advanced plan is I need to reverse diabetes, reverse heart disease, reverse cancer. I need to book, reboot my metabolism. I need a higher BMR. So the advanced plan is getting rid of all grains and then only eating the low glycemic index fruits and vegetables. So fruits are Granny Smith apples, lemons, limes, and berries. That's it for the next 30 days. Then, or you choose the core plan. And that allows you a bigger variety, but you're really trying to minimize those high glycemic index things like bananas and beets. And you know, the advanced plan, beets and carrots are out because they're just too high glycemic index. The sugar beet now, which is 90% of them, are, are a GMO and they're grown with all the pesticides and herbicides. And we, have, we again, know what that's doing. So make a choice right now on your sheets. You're making a choice in the next 30 days. What, do you, what are you going to do? What's realistic for you? We want 30 days of success. And all we want is results. All we're trying to do is measure. If you don't have to be perfect. There's none of us here who are perfect. It's just about setting a plan for the next 30 days. All right. How many people, and you don't have to raise your hands, I'll stop that. Um, how many people, though, ask your answer yourself and have tried to do this before and then feel like they were really unsuccessful, even though they gave a pretty good effort? We're about to cover one of those things. And one of the reasons, and we'll talk about where some of that's coming from, is toxicity. Because when your body encounters toxins, bad fats, poisons, whatever, it can do one of three things, basically. It can either utilize it, it can eliminate it, or it can store it. Fat is storage. So for a lot of people who've had toxicity in their lives, when they reach a certain percentage of fat, they can't release anymore because their liver and their kidneys are too burdened. Mm -hmm. Their toxicity limits their body's ability to eliminate any more fat. So we have to put them and give them the opportunity to saturate the body with the things they need to detox. So we use Max Greens to give you all the phytonutrients and the building blocks and the trace minerals to build glutathione. Then we use Max Greens mixed with the um, whey protein. And we use whey protein for a very specific reason. Grass-fed whey protein is the highest concentrator that we know of of um, these um, sulfur-containing amino acids so that you have the building blocks to build more glutathione. So you get them some from the greens, some from the trace or from the uh, whey protein, and you have all the amino acids you need to build glutathione, which is the number one detoxifier in every cell. And it's involved in DNA repair, and it even turns on vitamin C back to its active form. So you know you've been exposed to, let's say you've used a lot of pesticides, herbicides, you've had this experience with weight loss before, whatever. You work in a toxic environment. Um, then you would need to also add in the detox kit. Um, <clears throat> the detox kit, um, the reason it's so genius is because it gives you a cell detox during the day. So it gives you glutathione, superoxide dimutase, it gives you slippery elm and milk thistle and all these things to support your liver, your kidneys to be able to process this stuff. So your body will know it has this upregulated ability to detoxify and will allow you to release more fat um, during the day and be able to get those toxins out. So now you've got them out, but the liver utilizes your gallbladder into the digestive system to take any fat soluble toxins, put them into the fecal material. Some of the water soluble go there too, but some are eliminated through the skin and your kidneys. Just like heavy breathing, right? Alcohol can be a toxin, and so a breathalyzer is measuring how much alcohol you're emitting from your skin through your lungs. 
Hmm. Same concept, only sweat. So the body detox is really the genius aspect of you're going to concentrate it into the fecal material, but your colon's job is to pull water back in and not allow you to dehydrate. So a lot of those water-soluble toxins just come right back in through the colon. So at night, you take the body detox, which is an activated charcoal pill. It binds up all those toxins in the poop and then allows you to finish eliminating. So that's those two combo is really why if you feel like you hit those thresholds or you just haven't had results or you've been in a toxic environment, those are the things that can take this next 30 days to this point because if your goal is to lose 20 pounds in the next 30 days, it's completely realistic mm. doing this this way. Question. By the way, if you don't want to voice them personally, then you can ask me at the end, but right now it's good too. What if you want to gain weight? What if you want to gain weight? These are, this is um, using the, whichever one will be a change for you, the core plan or the advanced plan. Getting your body saturation of nutrients will allow your personal, your innate intelligence, your soul, to grab what it needs to either gain weight or lose weight. We use the same nutritional strategy for helping people who are underweight as we do overweight because we know the body is smart enough to know what to do with what we give. And we just remove those toxins. For a lot of people, it's the toxins that we just haven't tackled. Yeah. Question. Do you have a course on this kind of stuff that helps people that have to eat in restaurants a lot for a period of time, like three days out of the week? Oh man, you know, I really think it's a great question. Um, and I call that just being a patient. Um, because I don't talk, I don't want to talk about the weather or your dog. I want to talk about where you eat. And I want to talk about, and so we have 400 chiropractic offices around the country. So let's refer them as close as we can if we can. Then um, we get them to YouTube for all these videos that we're hopefully being successful um, recording. Mm. Well, the local salons could be plenty good. Absolutely, and then we do have um, it's Choose Health Chiropractic, and again, this is coming to you in the resources. ChooseHealthChiropractic.com is my website, and it has all the recipes, it has links, it has all the research. Um, so that will come to you in the resources, resources. and that will be able to get you to the videos of all these things. Other question. Um, what's the effect of sugar alcohols on the body? Um, you know, that is still up to her debate. Um, we try to avoid them, but I would rather use them in sugar instead of sugar. So it's still kind of up in the air. Um, I'd rather use stevia or um, xylitol um, or, or stevia or monk fruit instead of like xylitol and erythritol and the other sugar. <coughs> How beneficial are eggs? Um, uh, uh, eggs, pasture-raised organic eggs are very high in good omegas. They're a great source of protein, healthy cholesterol, healthy fats. Question. Yeah. All right. It has been a few minutes, so everybody looks a little sedated. So let's have some fun. Um, everybody, put your stuff down on your chairs and like stand up exactly where you are. So we're going to give you a chance to experience um, metabolic conditioning. So you are not allowed to punch the person in front of you, but for the next 20 seconds, you are going to try to move your arms as fast as you can like you were punching. And we're going to go 20 seconds on. In three, two, one, go. As hard as you can. The object of this is to take your body to 90% output and then calm back down. 90% output. It's only been 10 seconds, so. I understand. It's not easy. Um, and then we're going to So many of us make it so complicated. It's not. Again. And four. Three. Two, one, go. As hard as you can. Some of you aren't picturing the right person. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's it. Right? All right. Five, four, three, two, and rest. Boom. <laughs>
and stress and other toxins in our lives that we accumulate over time mm -hmm. that get stored in fat, well, cortisol continues to go up with increased life stress, and it will stay in your bloodstream. What is cortisol's job? It is to elevate blood sugars, to elevate cholesterol, to elevate um, your platelets, your clotting factors. That's its job. So that if you get mauled by a bear, your body's going to clot, it will fix the wound faster. You have extra blood sugar to run. You've got extra fat to burn in your bloodstream for the long term. If that, if that, that bear is slow, it just keeps on nagging at you. So these are the things. That's the hormone's job. But when it keeps trickling up because there's no bear and there's just a boss or a pesky whatever, it keeps going up over our lives. And if we don't burn off cortisol, then it's there. And it's doing its job to elevate all those things. And this is what we call metabolic deconditioning. What we're talking about now is metabolic conditioning. Aaron, could you open the door? <laughs> so, <laughs> let's get the door open. The talking during the exercise affects me. Um, so, also, the reason, the reason I really don't like cortisol, another reason, is because cortisol interacts with the hypothalamus, the part of your brain that controls appetite. So stress eating is also influenced by cortisol. Mm. So if we don't get rid of cortisol, you're metabolically, hormonally going to eat. It's inevitable. Sounds like we might make the bears ill. <laughs> <laughs> Something like, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're toxic if they eat us, don't we? Um, so I don't know about you, but stress management stresses me out. I want peace management. Mm -hmm. Let's cultivate peace in our lives instead of making it more like, oh man, I'm so stressed out, i got to calm down the stress and I'm managing my throat. <laughs> um, it doesn't work. So what's your peace management? Right now you're making another decision. For the next 30 days, what are you going to do to manage your peace? I'll tell you mine. It's in the resources, but it's not going to be available for a week or two, so you got to come up with your own. Um, I should be better regimented with my meditation. I practice a technique called TM, Transcendental Meditation, and um, we should be meditating twice a day for 20 minutes. And with four kids in this office and all the things I have going on, um, I've not been as consistent as I should be. So I'm going to go and say, for the next 30 days, I'm going to meditate once a day for 20 minutes without fail. That's my commitment for my peace management. Is yours walking, getting barefoot in the grass? Is it going out in nature? Is it playing ball with the kids? Is it reading the Bible? Is it you're going to be solid on your prayer? What are you going to do that's going to manage your peace? It's up to you. Mm -hmm. Write it down. Oh, yeah. Remember, a plan to fail. It's a, it's a failure to plan is a plan to fail. The next 30 days, what you're going to do? What can you realistically commit to? And how long are you going to commit to? I'm committing to 20 minutes. What's your time commitment and the type? <coughs> the next part of this is to minimize the toxins. And we're talking about this from obesogen. Obesogens is a classification of hormone disrupting chemicals. Where do we get them? Agriculture and consumer goods. <clears throat> Phytoestrogens is probably the weakest kind that we get from soybeans, even less in lentils and chickpeas, but they are there. Organitums is a big compound of it, and um, that's the fungicides that they spray on building materials. Mm. 
new building materials. So if you're in new construction or you're working with building materials, they are off gassing or gannetones, and it is causing your metabolism to store fat. Polyaromatic hydrocarbons, um, these are the byproducts, and we can't really affect these unless you're um, you know, on an individual scale. It's coming from fossil fuels. Um, BPA, this is one that we can directly affect. You know, we removed it from baby bottles because we know it causes cancer, mm -hmm. but they allow them to line the canned goods with it. Mm -hmm. That waxy coating is no longer wax, it's BPA plastic. It's legal. Oh. Okay, so if you're eating many canned goods, your BPA levels are through, it's causing, and it increases your risk. What do these obesogens also do besides make you hold weight? They increase your risk of the glandular cancers. Thyroid, uh, ovarian, breast, uterine, prostate, and testicular. Hmm. All those go up. Uh, the PFOAs come a lot at us also um, from cleaners, Leather, um, manufacturing, paper, paints, uh, the fire um, proof and stain resistant clothing chemicals. Hi. So how do you know if you're getting a lot of exposure? Um, again, in the resources, you'll get an email, you click directly on the ewg.org app um, or link, but there are apps that you can put on your phone. You download Skin Deep, and also healthy living. You put those apps on your phone, and when you go into your home, when you go home, you can pick up your products and open up healthy living and scan the barcode, and it will pull up the product and tell you how allergic, how cancerous, and um, how toxic it is, if it's in their database. Mm -hmm. So you can do that while you're shopping, with your food. So one of the things that we want to do is also, um, there's a uh, EWG and it has all the sideline again, has all purpose. It also has on, on the, uh, a hydration one. You can literally put in our zip code and it'll tell you how toxic our tap water is. That's pretty cool. Or how clean. I didn't mean to say, I don't know if anybody works with water company. Um, uh, but, so that's, but you can literally put it in. <laughs> So one of the other things that they mention is, is that it's from, um, oh, here's a stat, 86% of air fresheners tested contain phthalates and um, parabens. 86%. So if you're using those plug-ins, you're putting those things on your vents, you're hanging that thing from the mirror in your car, you're getting <coughs> obesogens that increase your risk of cancer. You're putting those into your rooms at home, so the other thing that I want to plug is something that my wife did. She championed this when we started having kids, and that's a company called Beauty Counter. Beauty Counter is a B Corp that has put um, the cleanliness of the environment and their cosmetics over profit. So what has to happen is, is everything, like, so I'll give you an example. The United States has um, banned approximately 50 chemicals in shampoos and uh, conditioners, and in makeup. The, how, the thing that we put on our skin, they banned about 50. The European Union has banned around 1,300. <clears throat> Beauty Counter has now banned over 1,500. If it's a possible toxin, if they think 10 years from now it's going to be labeled a toxin or a cancer, they ban it. Awesome. And so what we wanted to do was go no-brainer. We needed something in our life to be selling. So she found this company, she did the research, and now that's what we use at home exclusively. I have a two-year-old, five-year-old, a 12-year-old, and a 14-year-old. I'm not putting a bunch of crap on them. The world's toxic enough. Beauty counter. So in the resources that are being emailed to you will also be the beauty counter link, and then my wife is a rep for beauty counter. So you can contact <laughs> Megan through her email, and if you want to set up anything, find out. There's also a sign-up sheet over here next to the bowl with the gift cards that um, you can take on your way out, and then she'll reach out to you if you want to simplify things. It's just a one-stop <laughs> shop for all your soaps, your shampoos, your conditioners, makeup, anything. All right. <coughs> Hydration and detoxification. 
if your blood and your lymphatic tissue is more like water, it's easier for your body to detox than if it's like serving. So, the hydration challenge. You're about to say yes or no to something else on the sheet. Um, hydration challenge is a half an ounce per pound of body mass for the next 30 days of clean water. So, I weigh 200 pounds, so I'm going to drink 100 ounces of water a day without that. Can you say yes to that? I think so. What are your sources, though? We want to filter tap water either through a three-stage filter in your refrigerator or one of the things that go on your spigot at home. We want to be filtering it into glass or into stainless steel because the plastic water bottles, especially like the Nalgene's and things like that, BPA is part of the hydrocarbon processing, and so it's a plasticizer. It helps the molding and the shaping of the plastic. So if you're drinking water, um, you're getting a lot of the chemicals that the estrogen mimickers that cause cancer. Mm -hmm. So get rid of your plastic. <clears throat> get rid of your plastic storage food containers, especially if you put warm food in them. Go to glass, stainless steel, Pyrex, or use um, cast iron. Who has a question about that? What was the last one you mentioned? Cast iron oh. is a great way to cook. Um, <laughs> So get rid of your, you only want to be putting food or water in stainless steel, glass, or cast iron. I use stainless steel for all my, this is my water bottle, it's insulated, I put tea or coffee or whatever in, non-BPA plastic. Sorry, you said non-BPA plastic is okay? <laughs> it's, it's a better bad alternative. They're just probably, they probably use BPB, but I don't. You know, I mean, um, granted, you know, this is what we drink out of a lot here. This is what I, we call ugly juice in my family. We all drink it. It's a blender. It's a Vitamix full that has a, an apple, a Granny Smith apple, parsley, cilantro, lemon, lime, um, berries. A um, This one has avocado in it, mm. and it has um, uh, ginger root and turmeric root. Mm. Put all that in there, blend it all up, drink a quart of this a day. You got your five servings of fruits and vegetables right here. Now, all the other things that you eat are great. They're great. They're extra. That doesn't mean that you can eat a Snickers. Just to be simple. Just be simple. Um, the next challenge is our movement challenge. The fact is, is we're going to affect your BMR. We have to improve your body fat to muscle ratio. So, and if that door, if y'all are freezing now, y'all can close the door. But I just want to let a little fresh air. Um, so, what are we going to do? More muscle, less fat. The idea is, is that we want to use our exercise as metabolic conditioning. So, to show you just how simple it can be, let's all stand up again. <laughs> all right. So, here we go. This time we're doing squats. Don't hurt your knee. Don't, don't hurt your back. If you can't do it, just walk in place as fast as you can or do the punches again. But we're going to do squats as fast as we can, as hard as we can for 20 seconds, and go. And down and up. And down and up. As much as you can. So one of the things that most people say is I need equipment. Oh, I got to go to the gym. Oh, I got to do this. Well, right now we're doing different types. Of metabolic conditioning without leaving your air and stop. So now there's a ton of different exercises you can do in a little four foot box, and it's all metabolic conditioning. And so we'll get started again in three, two, one, go and go as fast as you can. Remember, it's 90% output, that's what we need to get the reaction that we want. Man, that 20 seconds is long when you're running. And rest. Um, I hope you showed up to participate. Have a seat. So, exercising to 90% output and then coming back down. 90% output and coming back down. The reason it's so magical is because your brain perceives you want to fight. 
Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it burns cortisol. It tells your, your adrenal glands to stop producing. You got wet repeatedly. So not only are we stressing less by peace management, we're getting less of the toxin, but now we're burning that, that slow trickle of cortisol up. Oh. And the fact is, is that we want to create a routine. So we love Max C3 because it is this digital bookmark that came in your kits if you're patient. This thing right here has a code that you log into maxc3.com and it's 20 bucks for this, 17 to 9. Um, and this gets you a lifetime of access to Dr. Roberto, who trains Team USA Wrestling. He's their chiropractor and trainer. This guy has built a system so that it would be accessible to all socioeconomic groups. 20 bucks for a lifetime. It has a beginner, an intermediate, and an advanced that you can follow along with. And anybody in here who's done it, Knows if you do the lower body exercises, go easy, otherwise, you won't get off the toilet <laughs> next time. I'm dead serious. I, I mean, there's a few, you know, uh, yeah, that um, seriously, be very careful because this guy means business. So, um, it's awesome. Follow the beginner, even if you think you're an intermediate for the first time with all of the exercises, make sure you're an advanced or an intermediate. Your routine, though, needs to be something you can do. So for the next 30 days, if you're already running, let's just speed up to 90% and then slow back down. Speed up to 90%, slow back down. If you ride the bike, if you're on the treadmill, if you've got a Nordic track, whatever. Do what's working for you, but implement this type of exercise. And let's make that, and that will work. It's simple. So write it down. What are you going to do? <laughs> What's your exercise for the next 30 days? I stopped and there's no way. Um, what are you going to do? So metabolic conditioning as it relates to toxicity and toxicity's role in keeping people obese. We've knocked out one of them. The next most common thing that people don't realize is that your nervous system is a learning system, right? We say that we can keep learning throughout life. That our, we call it neuroplasticity, that our brain continues to learn. Well, one of the things that research has been showing is, is that as the body accumulates toxicity and lifestyle choices, your brain adapts your nervous system to be able to deal with that constant upregulation and it will distort and change your metabolism. It will change your heart rate. It will change your blood pressure. It will change anything it has to, to reset it, to deal with the toxic lifestyle. It's trying to survive. So one of the greatest things that so many people miss is their nervous system. If you're subluxated, if your spine is not properly aligned, hips level, spine straight from front to back, and the three curves from the side, your spinal cord is under undue tension. Now you've got a brain. Now remember, if we're brain dead, we can keep the rest of this stuff alive with, with machines. Maybe in death, we don't know. But if you're brain dead and we ever turn off the machines, the electrical life force that God created us to be created in the brain run down the spinal cord, out the network of nerves, to every organ and tissue, to set their thermostat. <coughs> Each organ is being controlled to deal with how the others are functioning also. If you have a, a deficiency and your pancreas isn't working right, the rest of your body changes to deal with it. Right? Mm -hmm. Nervous system's controlling it all. So if you're subluxated in your spine, your body adapts to that. It changes the muscles, the organs, the everything to deal with that. <laughs> because it doesn't know if it's ever going to change. So it has to adapt your whole body to deal with. Because right here, this is the nerve that control your heart to speed up. The nerve that controls your heart to slow down is called vagus. It comes out right up here. And it also controls all of digestion from the pancreas up. 
It controls your mood. Look up the polyvagal theory. It's amazing. Porges work is amazing. So if you look that theory up, polyvagal theory. So it talks about how it interacts with our, our metabolism and how it's interrelated with our um, outlook on life, our energy, our mindset. So how many children are on Adderall rhythm because nobody's ever checked to see if their nervous system's on the grid? How many people, because here are the warning signs. Do you have any of those? Do any of your family have those? Do any of your friends? Is your pastor on that list? Is your bus driver of your children on that list? Mm -hmm. If they are, and they haven't been checked, we're skipping the most basic step of turning the life force back on in a human being. Mm -hmm. The only thing that Max Living and chiropractic knows for 100% certain that will never change in time is that a person would function better from the moment of conception till the moment of death if their nervous system was functioning at 100%. Hmm. Every person would do better, have better quality and quantity of life, no matter what's on their list. So one of the things that we do is so many people have never heard that this is really what chiropractic's about. Is the unification. And this is why Max Living is so genius, is because we do all of the lifestyle stuff that a lot of other people do, but it gets unified by chiropractic, turning the life force back on. Normally, it's AM x rays is $150, $180. Tonight, if you want to sign up for a new patient appointment on your way out, you have those as guests. You have those filled, those forms. You can put your name, your phone number, circle the date, circle the time that you want your appointment. Fold it up, put it in the yellow basket over in front of Anna. On your way out, she'll call you tomorrow. She'll set up your appointment. It's $60. A lot of you are sitting here going, wow, I wish I could get so-and-so in. Boy, they should have been here. Take a gift card out of the basket over there. You can give it to them. It's $60. $60. When they decide to come in, their exam, their x-rays, anything we need to do on that first day, $60. We are going to change this community. We are going to have a community that doesn't expect disease. That says, heart disease doesn't run in my family. Diabetes doesn't run in my family. We no longer expect cancer because we've changed how we live. We know what controls our health and we're taking care of it. If that resonates with you, and you're sick and tired of being tired and sick, mm -hmm. and you're sick and tired of doctors looking and telling you a diagnosis and telling you what's wrong with you, mm -hmm. walk through this door as a patient. All we see is active potential. Mm -hmm. If you still have breath in your lungs, then God still has purpose for your lungs. Mm -hmm. And it's my job to help you in the interference of the expression of that life. I don't know what you're here to do, but I know what I'm here to do. And that's we're going to change the community. And so that is a part of the challenge. For some of you, you're already patients. So what are we going to do? we got to change your home care. Folks, if I'm going to move your teeth, we put you in braces. We don't do it three days a week. We do it seven days a week for a few years. Well, we're going to change your spine. You can't be here seven days a week. I love my kids. I'm going home play. So the fact is, is that you need to put the pressure on. Home care and corrective care is twice a day, seven days a week without fail. If you're going to get the results, you've got to be willing to do the work. When you're in um, maintenance care, which is like when you get out of braces and you put on a retainer to keep your teeth from going back to where they were, that's maintenance care in chiropractic. Now your home care drops to once a day, five days a week. We have to be putting pressure on your spine to maintain the muscles and the ligaments that hold us together and move us. It's just that simple. That's what we missed for probably the first 100 years of or 75, 80 years of chiropractic. We didn't teach people their blueprint and take time with our patients to give them their x-rays and teach them what to stretch and what to strengthen, how to sleep. 
That's what we do different in Max Living. Because health is 100% function. The, close, the sooner I can meet a human being and get them to their 100% function or as close as we can, mm -hmm. and then teach them how to stay there, the more they can go out and do their purpose. Mm -hmm. How many more, how much better would the world be if we had more JFK, <laughs> more Martin Luther King Jr., more Gandhi, more, more, I mean, come on, the list goes on and on. How much better would our community be if we had more Senator Moore? Out cases, mm -hmm. right? The people that give and love and serve continually. What if more of us had the energy to do that? Mm -hmm. That's my experience. That's good. So our 30-day fat loss challenge, you've just written it. 30 days of the advanced plan and supplements is what I hope you're saying yes to. Because it will eliminate the most amount of variables. It will pull out the toxicity. It will pull out, it will give you a flood of proper nutrition. It will pull out the sugars as toxins. It will give you the best chance to get the best result. But if, a, if getting on the core plan is a big change for you, if you're eating McDonald's, I mean, hey guys, this, the chicken nuggets, the bun, and the fries, they're like seven years old. Come on. Is that real? Is that good for you? Or is it a source of toxicity? So if you've been eating that, and we can just teach you to get you to get on the core plan, we are doing great. You'll see great results. You'll have better energy. You'll lose weight and everything. But the advanced plan is the supercharge. So what are you going to do? 30 days of hydration. Will you drink a half ounce per pound of vitamin? At least. If you're out there sweating it out, you got a physical job, you need more. What's your exercise challenge? I would like for you to say yes to 15 minutes of short duration, high intensity interval training, 15 minutes a day, seven days a week. That's it. Max T3, it makes it really simple, but if you've already got a regimen, just add that in. What's your peace management? What are you going to do to lower your cortisol levels? And then burn off the cortisol using your exercise every day. <laughs> Are you willing to say yes to you by showing up for your visits? If you're supposed to be here once a week, be here. If you're supposed to be here twice a month, be here. If you're supposed to be here five days a week, three days a week, whatever it is, be here and do your home care. Can you commit to that? What do you need to sign up for? If you don't know if subluxation is robbing you of your life potential, the number one thing is become a patient. Find out. We don't know unless we do an exam and x-ray. Period. Everybody can do some version of this challenge. Say yes to you. Commit to the next 30 days. Don't commit to being perfect. Commit to the 30 days. <coughs> Shop with the doc. Hopefully the sign-up went around. Thursday, this Thursday, 6.30, Ingalls. We meet in the bakery. We're going to be buying nothing. <laughs> <laughs> what are your action steps? The law of diminished intent. The moment you leave this building, the warm and fuzzy starts to wear off. If you don't commit before you leave, you're probably not going to do it. It's just that simple. If you need to be a new patient, you don't sign up, you're probably not going to be. If you aren't going to do the hydration, if you don't write it down and put this on your refrigerator or tape it to your mirror at home where you brush your teeth or put it somewhere where it's in your face for the next 30 days, you're probably not going to do it. And that's okay. Come back next time. Maybe we'll do a better workshop and motivate you then. But it's you. It's your commitment to you, not to me. I hope that this resonates with you. <coughs> I hope that it helps you take action in your life. <coughs> we are here to give, to love, and to serve. To see potential in every person that walks through our doors mm -hmm. and to help them reach that potential. Because only God knows their purpose in them. 
We're just here to remove interference to the expression of their lives so that they can go out and do that purpose. If you have questions, we'll stick around now. Thanks for coming. Thank you. Thank you. Bring me the raffle. I apologize. I and the shop with the dog sign. I'm also leaving out on the table over here. And the raffle. We're going to give away two of the uh, the, the kits, the mini book, um, the uh, recipe book, and the um, the uh, quick start guide. So there. Read numbers. Everybody grab your ticket. Got your ticket? Give me a second. <laughs> yeah, eight, yeah, everybody's got this one. Eight seven four. Yeah. It's the last three in that, right? Uh, three two four. Yes. Yeah, all right. There you go. Very well, awesome. All right. One more. Okay. Three six zero. Nice. Quick start. Right. Good. Awesome. Very well. All right. Um, who has, if we're going to do our home care, who has not replaced their roles in a long time, right? Your old, your roles are like three years old. They look like a squished up thing. Um, so, three, two, one. Three, two, one. Okay, well, um, we'll have to talk about these. Uh, there you go. We've got those back for um, Really, who's just who has um, who is a tall human being? Yes, no, perfect. Who else is a tall guy right here? Just the large one. I have these single larges that I want to yes, I knew, yes, I knew one. Um, and then here's another set um, of rules. Three, three, zero. Yes, new set of roles for you so that you can do your home care. And then now we're going to wrap off two containers of vitamin D. So these, um, I mean, gosh, I really hope you're measuring your blood work. We understand that cortisol, all of your um, sex hormones, um, testosterone, estrogen, progesterone, all of them require vitamin D reproduced, not just gun health. So we have uh, three twos here. Nice. Yes. Good work. Mm -hmm. And uh, three five five. Right. So close. I'm sticking around for questions, comments. Does anybody have anything before we go? Who wants the cancerous peanut butter? Never again. No? Okay. Oh. <laughs> um, I actually have, I apologize. One more thing. Can I draw a number and read it out, please? This is a max C3 code. I forgot we were going to write this off. This is a second one. 332. Yes. If you have one, you're welcome to give it. If you don't, use it. I'm saying that it's a, it's some people already have it. All right. Thank you so much. God bless. Have a great night. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Come on, Ralph. Let's get it. Take your time, check out. Ms. Anna can get you into the supplements that are 15% off. Uh, any of the things that you need, you gotta get it tonight if you're gonna use it. 15% off. Matt, you got parsley, cilantro. We got green. A granny cinnamon apple, berries, and a lemon or a lime, depending upon which you have. See you tomorrow.
I'm going to take the core out. Make sure to take the core out so you don't get the, uh, um, it's a full arsenic. You see, so concentrate arsenic. Don't get it wrong. The detox system has a uh, pill that helps you pull um, toxin out of the cell. So it helps get everything out of the back of your bloodstream during the day. And at night, um, you can't say you're activated charcoal or any medication. You don't absorb your back. Okay. That's easy. No. See, there's a little bit of You're going to use that. And then it activates all the cells in the back and they go into the office. I was just grouping them together.
Hey, thank you all. You all are always awesome. Just stick around, help out. I appreciate it. Whatever. Thank you. Uh, you like to get my car? No, that's right. Thank you for telling me that. All right. Well, we'll add it to your, we'll add it to your BMR. Good building muscle. Stop getting better. Just tell me. Let me just check. Oh boy, nobody stopped the recording. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 